After performing my own outside research, what more did I learn on this topic or issue? Please indicate your outside resource. So I chose coming to the emergency department. So essentially it falls under the Code of Federal Regulations. Um, it's an ex- ex- excellent example of how a regulation can help to clarify statutory language. Um, I learned more about the EMT ALA, which is the it's the emergency emergency medical treatment and labor act, um, and how it applies to the hospitals, especially who participates in Medicare through their providers' agreements. Um, the EM the emergency emergency medical treatment and labor act applies when a patient comes to an emergency department they require medical attention and if the emt ala applies it then determines how the hospital must provide the hospital emergency medical condition um so when it comes to coming to the emergency department It's a hospital's dedication to having a good, dedicated emergency department and then the request care for a medical condition. And this is coming from the HCCA. Um, So what are the regulatory and or legal implications of this topic or issue for hospitals and providers? Um, So for hospitals, they have to have a, a dedicated emergency department and they have to have the ability to request examination or treatment for a medical condition or has such a request made on his or her behalf. It has to be presented on hospital property other than the dedicated emergency department. Um, The request for examination or treatment for what may be an emergency medical condition um, and it also has to be a ground or air ambulance owned and operated by the hospital for purposes of examination and treatment for a medical condition. Um, it Not only that, it has to be in a ground or air non-hospital owned ambulance on hospital property for presentation for examination and treatment for a medical condition at a hospital in a hospital's dedicated emergency department. So let's digress all of that. Um, So essentially, any type of medical treatment, in order for your insurance to cover it, it has to be on a hospital's ground. It has to be either in a emergency department, has to be in a hospital-owned ambulance, or air ambulance, also known as a helicopter. Um, It has to be either, if you need medical attention and you're in an ambulance that is not owned by the hospital, you have to give treatment on hospital grounds in order for um, Medicare to cover it. Another thing that it says in here is... um, So when you come into the emergency room, you have to present some sort of medical condition or request an examination or treatment for that medical condition if it's you or someone else saying it. It has to be presented on hospital property other than the dedicated emergency department and the request examination or treatment for what Um, may be an emergency medical condition and it has to be made on his or her behalf. Did this legal brief brief leave you with any questions? Were there were these questions when you had previously or ones that you developed only after finishing? It didn't really address any or cause any questions about this specific topic but I did find the information very interesting. How did the issues or ideas address in the topic mesh with your past experiences or 
readings. Um, the issues didn't really mesh with any of my past experiences or other readings because I haven't really read anything that involved the EMT ALA, but I did learn a lot of information about it.